Welcome to Good News Devos on Unite Radio. I'm Jenna, and I, uh, don't know where Noah went. But I'm sure he'll be here soon. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Noah, there you are. Whoa, Noah, what happened to you? Oh, I just fell on my way inside, but I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but you're covered in mud. Your clothes, your hands, your shoes. And it's getting all over the studio. Uh... There. My shoes are off and my jacket is zipped up so you can't see the mud. And if I keep my hands behind my back for the entire show, you can't see my muddy hands. And besides, our friends who are listening can't even see me at all. That doesn't mean you aren't still covered in mud. Really? I thought it would do the trick. (laughs) Noah, go clean up. I promise we'll wait for you. (laughs) Oh, all right. Thanks for waiting. (sighs) That's so much better. I'm glad you feel better. You look happier, too. You know, Jenna, as I was cleaning up, I realized that this reminds me of today's power word. Oh, yeah? Do you want to start today and tell us why? I'd love to. You see... If you've believed in Jesus as your savior, there will be times when you still choose to sin, to go your own way instead of God's way. You can pretend what you did wasn't so bad or try to hide your sin like how I tried to hide the mud, but that didn't change the fact that I was covered in mud. But when you sin after believing in Jesus, your feelings and thoughts afterwards can be confusing. What do you do when you sin? How does God see you? That is what today's power word talks about. Today's power word is confession. Can you say confession with us when you hear the power word's trumpet? Confession. Confession Confession is admitting my sin and agreeing with God that what I did was wrong. If you have believed in Jesus, when you choose to sin, you can confess your sins to God and receive his forgiveness. Let's explore a verse in the Bible that talks about that. If you have a Bible with you, turn with us to the New Testament book of 1 John. Not the Gospel of John. This book is towards the end of the Bible. Then go to chapter 1, verse 9. I'll read it for us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The first part of the verse is where we get our power word. It says, if we confess our sins. Remember, confess means to admit your sin to God and agree with God that it was wrong. After you believe in Jesus, God the Holy Spirit comes to live inside your heart, the part of you that thinks, feels, and makes choices. The Holy Spirit changes your heart so that you want to live God's way instead of your way. That's why you might feel sad, guilty, or upset after you sin. The Holy Spirit lets you feel that way so that you can recognize your sin and realize it was wrong. But God doesn't want you to live with those feelings forever. The Holy Spirit makes you feel that way for a reason. He wants you to confess your sin to Him. So how do you confess your sin? First, you talk to God in prayer. When you pray, tell Him about what you did and that you know it was wrong. For example, if you are going to confess about lying to your mom, you could pray something like this. God, I lied to my mom today. I know lying isn't what you want me to do because you want me to tell the truth. Then thank God for his forgiveness and ask him for help to do the right thing next time. You could pray something like this. Thank you for forgiving me for lying. Help me tell my mom the truth next time. Hey, Noah. I think some of our listeners might be wondering, but didn't God already forgive me when I believed in Jesus as my Savior? Does this mean that I stop being God's child every time I sin? That's a good question. Thankfully, it doesn't mean that. The good news is that after you believe in Jesus, your sin doesn't separate you from God like you were before you believed in Jesus. Once you believe in Jesus, your punishment for sin is taken away forever. 
Nothing, even the sin you do after believing, can change that. Your relationship with God will always exist. That's wonderful news. However, sin does hurt your relationship with God. So your relationship isn't as strong as it could be. That's why you need to confess your sin to God. When you confess your sin, you're doing it so that God can make your relationship with Him right again. It can be hard or even embarrassing to admit that you've sinned. Maybe your guilt over your sin makes you feel like God doesn't love you or that you aren't saved anymore. Those feelings can make you not want to talk to God about your sin. A healthy amount of guilt is good for us because it helps us realize how bad our sin is. But remember, God doesn't want you to keep those feelings forever. We know this because the rest of 1 John 1, 9 makes you a wonderful promise. The rest of 1 John 1, 9 says that God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Faithful means God always does what he says he will do. Just means God always does what is right. In this verse, God promises he will forgive you for your sin. When God forgives your sin, he doesn't think about your sin when he thinks about you. You can be confident that God has promised to forgive you. The rest of the verse makes another promise about what God will do when you confess. It says that God will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When this verse talks about making you clean, it's even better than being clean from mud. God removes the guilt of all your unrighteousness, another word for sin. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, God makes you clean from all the bad things you do, past, present, and future. This verse reminds you that when you choose to sin after you believe in Jesus, God forgives your sin. So, if you believe in Jesus, confess your sin to God. You can use the example prayers we talked about or talk to God using your own words. Remember, God loves you and he wants you to talk to him about your sin so you can keep your relationship with God strong. Since you can count on God's promise to forgive you, thank him for it when you confess. You can say something like this, God, thank you for forgiving me, amen. So, this week, Will you confess your sin to God? Will you talk to God about your sin and thank him for forgiving you? On the count of three, can you say, God forgives sin with us? One, two, three. God, God forgives, forgives sin. sin. Let's repeat our power word one more time. Confession. Confession. If you haven't believed in Jesus, you need to know that God made a way for your sin to be forgiven. If you believe in who Jesus is and what he did for you to take your punishment, God promises that you will be rescued from sin's punishment. He'll give you a relationship with him that lasts forever. As you get to know God better and learn to live his way, God is always with you to help you. That's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time to learn our last power word. Bye! Bye.